Using Pathfinder to simulate evacuation from theaters and stadiums is best accomplished if the seating rows and aisles are represented as rooms. This demo will show how to accomplish this. The auditorium we will use for this demo has exits at the front and back. We want the occupants to move from the seating rows to the aisles and then from the aisles to the exits. In this view, we see only the navigation mesh on which the occupants move. Notice that the aisle is one room. Each seating row is a separate room. And one-way exit doors are defined at the ends of each seating row and aisle. Now, let us walk through the steps to accomplish this. We start with an imported DWG model from which we have extracted the floor information. Each seating row is a separate room with straight edges defined where the steps will go. Select the stair tool and create steps between each row. Continue until you have defined all the steps. Now, we will split each of the rows to define the aisles. Click the Split tool and work up each row, splitting the rows to create sections of the aisle. Now we select all the steps and aisle sections and merge them into one room. This defines the aisle. Notice that the rows have also been separated into rooms. Now we add doors from each row to the aisle. After the doors are added, we select the row and make the doors one way from the row to the aisle. Do this for all rows. We also define one-way doors from the aisle to the exit rooms. We add occupants to each row and run the simulation. Finally, we display the results. Based on each occupant's current estimate of queue times and walking times, they select which room exit to use.